Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and today is a SCCM 2007 video. Again, I've been pushing out these videos because that's what I've been doing so far at a client site, and I want to record all this stuff for you know for record. <laughs> so let's get started. So what I'm going to show you guys is how to install the Pixie Row and get your WDS up and running. Now, the first thing that you need to do before I even tell you is there's been a lot of issues with WDS in the Pixie Row with uh, SCCM. A lot of people tell you you need to configure your WDS. A lot of people tell you not to configure it and just let Configuration Manager take control. Now, this is for what I've seen. You install WDS, you install the Pixie Row within your Configuration Manager, and that's it. Because Configuration Manager will take control of your WDS and do whatever it needs to do. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to install your WDS, your Windows Deployment Service. And we're going to, I open up my server manager. And I'm going to go to roles and I'm going to add a new role. Okay. Going to go to next. And we're going to check on that. Hit next, hit next, hit next. And install. It's that easy. So once it's completed you're good to go most likely you don't need to reboot your server don't worry about rebooting if you do if you want mm, best practice for me what I did I did reboot but you know you don't have to reboot I don't think so uh, once your WDS is installed you don't need to do anything again I'm gonna repeat it to you guys again you don't need to do anything to your WDS okay and what I'm doing right now I'm just creating a shortcut to my desktop because most likely these are the things that you're mostly using when you have your SCCM. You know, you're using your console, your workbench, IIS, your SQL manager, you know, you got your trace, all that good stuff. So let's install the Pixie Row. Now, once you install the Pixie Row, you want to go into your site manager, go into the root of the site manager, site settings, site systems, and you're going to right click new roles, right? Uh, next, Pixie Pixie Service Point, and we're gonna hit next. And it's basically saying to respond to incoming Pixie requests, configure manager must open the UDP ports of 66, 67, 68, 69, blah blah blah. Yes, you do want that to happen. Hit yes. Now I don't want to require a password for this. Now I want you to take. Uh, in consideration that there's not a third option and you're probably saying what do I mean now there's a third option which within the pixie row that's not within uh, cert, uh, how can I say it a certain version with SCCM so most likely on on a future episode I'm gonna get you guys up and running with service pack uh, I believe 2 with R3 and you're going to get a, uh, an additional option within the Pixie, which allows you to Pixie unknown computers. Again, this is going to be a future video because I'm going to be showing you guys how to do OSD, which is operating system deployment. So I'm going to do allow Pixie service points to respond to incoming Pixie uh, requests. You can actually change the delay, which I normally change the delay to three. Okay. Uh, and uh, response to all Pixie requests and in all network interfaces and we're gonna hit next we are gonna use the pixie service point computer account and then right here make sure you give it a nice little number so I give it a couple of years for it to expire hit next uh, nice little brief summary hit next and you're good to go that's it your pixie row is completed guys that's it you don't need to do anything else alright uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please Twitter it. Uh, please Facebook it. Please like it. Please subscribe. Please comment. And uh, i catch you guys later. Peace out.